Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are watching part two of a walkthrough of my entire Lego inventory. Let's get into it. Okay, now let's move on to Marvel. And this is table one of two of my Lego Marvel sets. And as you can see, I kind of have quite a big mech army here with the vast majority being Thanos. Now I'll explain that in just a moment. But first let's just have a look. We've got Thanos Mech 76141. Now these mechs had a retail of 8.99 in the UK and these, the four I've got here, all retired last year. Now I actually liked every single mech that did retire last year. The only reason I've got so many of the Thanos in comparison to the others, which I'll show you in a moment, is purely the accessibility of the price that I wanted. Now these Thanos mechs were reduced in, I think, about December time, maybe a bit earlier, on Sports Direct to about £7 or something like that. And I have access, I work in the NHS, so I had a 20% off discount code. So I got these for like 5 50 or 560 ish something like that and i am happy with the price i paid for them I, I actually had more than this believe it or not but i sold a quite a lot last year for like about 15 16 pounds or about 20 pounds including postage so it was great you know it's almost 200 percent return on investment now it will be quite a while before I sell all of those and i might have to drop the price even further but the return on investment is great and I just really got, I was really drawn to these mechs because I love cheap price points of sets like this that have a lot of collectability and lots of room to grow. Now, before I show you the others, there is a new Thanos mech coming out next year. They are continuing the mech range. And as I said, the Thanos mech is coming out alongside two more. But they are going to be priced slightly more at, I think, at £12.99. So why it is disappointing that there is a new Thanos mech, hopefully I'll be able to sell off most of these this year. Now, as you can see, the other mech 60s are all Thanos's, except I have about, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 of Captain America, a few Mars Morales and a few Thors at the end. Now... These are, as I said, all mechs that retired last year, and there, there are three mechs that are also retiring this year. Of course, there's like the Black Panther, the Iron Man, and the Wolverine. Now, I did do a video on the mechs earlier on in the year. Now, out of the mechs that are retiring this year, again, I, I do think they will be good because they are still nicely, cheaply priced. And again, we've got more mechs coming up next year to keep them relevant, which is great. And for me, out of all the mechs, the Wolverine would be the one to go for this year. And it will be one that I, I will buy. I have yet to pick it up, but it will be one I buy in a good quantity. Maybe not the same extent of this one. But, you know, if you keep up with the news, we recently had announced that... Um, I can't remember the actor, but basically Wolverine is going to be appearing in the Deadpool 3 movie. So we definitely know there's going to be a spike of interest in Wolverine at some point when that movie gets released. Um, so yeah, this is the first part of the video. This is the uh, mech army. Okay, and here's the second table for Marvel. Now let's get straight into the first set, which is this one right here. It's set number 76125. It's the Iron Man Hall of Armour. Now this one in the UK had a retail of £54.99. pence. You can see I bought quite a few, regretfully now, because... Unfortunately, this one was re literally remade. Um, I think as soon as this one retired, Lego have released a new Lego Hall of Armour price at seventy nine ninety nine, and of course, it's kind of diminished any interest that this one might gather. Now, this is still a cool set. I did luckily pay a good price for these. I got them for about forty ish on average because of the new hall of armor though it's not performed well i don't think it's appreciated at all i think at the moment it's still sitting around its retail but hopefully things will change but to be honest as long as that new hall of armor is on the shelves i can't see this one going up in value but you never know so time will tell now next we have the carnage helmet quite a popular one among investors i believe this year set number 76199 now, I've got a few. Now, it's retail in the UK is 
Now I managed to get mine, I got six on a three for two Zavi deal and the other two I got directly from Lego themselves with the whole gift with purchase deal etc. I'm happy with the quantity I've got. If Zavi obviously do another three for two I'll jump all over them because at the moment I think they're sold out on Zavi and uh, Lego as, as well, like I mentioned, Zavi because they are exclusive to Zavi in the UK. I think these are already priced on eBay for about 70, so you know they're going to perform well. How, however, if they're going to perform well, do they have much longevity? I'm not sure. It, there might be kind of a FOMO price rise for those, and we'll, we'll see in the future. Now, the next one is an interesting one. I didn't think I'd end up with this level of quantity of this set, but I'll explain why. It's Shang-Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings, Battle at the Ancient Village, set number 76177. Now this one in the UK has a price point of £34.99 pence, and it is an exclusive to John Lewis. Now I did have a humble quantity of these, I think I began with like 7 or 8, but then there was this deal on John Lewis um, about I think 3-4 months ago. I can't recall exactly where. They do these offers about every six months where you get a free Google Nest if if you pay or reach a price threshold. However, there was a glitch this time with the offer and basically you could literally buy anything and you got this free Google Nest. Uh, um, so you could buy, it turned out to be like a one pound um, pen or, you know, pens, paper, etc. And they literally, there was a glitch, but you got three Google Nest, which was actually valued at £90. Now, I didn't know this at the time. I did know that you could get a cheap item for free with it. So I bought a Shang-Chi per Google Nest. So I set up lots of accounts and basically I paid full price for the Shang-Chi set of 34 99 and then got a free Google Nest, which had a retail at 90, but obviously a lot of people did this. So I sold off the Google Nest, I think, for about 40, 50, but basically got a free Shang-Chi set plus 15 pounds profit. Now I chose the Shang-Chi set because it was exclusive to John Lewis, and it's a set you can't really get discounted or available anywhere else. So I actually ended up with about 15 to 20 of those. I did like the set, and I did do a video specifically detailing the reasons why. Um, so if you want to watch that and find out those reasons, check out my other videos. Now, on to the next set. Now, this is an Eternal set, set number 76154. Now, I don't know why I bought this. So I do know why I bought it. I bought the discount. I got these for £9, and I've got about, what's that, 8 in total. And I got these last year for £9. I say so I do regret that. It'd probably be a struggle to get that back. Eternal's just um, bombed massively no one likes it will it get a sequel hopefully um because if it does i did i did think the eternal sets had potential we've never had internal movies before we've never had eternal lego sets before i opted for this one because it comes with three you know good characters gilgamesh is exclusive but the popularity in the eternal just isn't there so i don't think it matters how good a discount you get on the eternals um, at the moment, the popularity isn't there. It would be interesting later down the line if they did do a sequel, which was amazing, and then everyone did want these old Eternal sets. But that's more of a gamble, in my opinion. Um, and there's much more safer bets if you're Lego investing, so not one for me to take that risk. Next, though, we have the Doctor Strange set 76205, Garganto Showdown. I do like these. These have a retail of 24 99 I've only got three though, so not really a lot. Um, I've, I should buy some more there. I got these three here from Hamleys. Uh, I think no, I think I got two from Hamleys, one from Amazon, and average price point was probably about twenty, so not the best discount. But I do like it. I do think it will be nicely displayable against or next to the recent Sanctum set that's come out, and I think that will have a lot of appeal for people to buy or pick this set up. Now next we've got Spider-Man No Way Home, set number 76185, Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. Now this is an interesting set, recently sold out from Legacy at Home's website. It's a retailer of £34.99, got these for 23 these two a third off. Now it does actually come with four exclusive minifigures. Now, unfortunately, they're just exclusive minifigures, not exclusive characters. So I do believe we've had all these characters before, just with different outfit elements, etc., now, I do like the set, but I don't think 
it's got too much to make someone have that demand to buy it. So I've only stuck with two. I might buy some more if it goes to about 20, but I might not. Now next we've got uh, set number 76173. Now this is Spider-Man and the Ghost Rider vs Carnage. I only picked up three of these. I got them for £12 a piece. The retail is £17.99. And even though the set's a bit bland, it does come with a cool Carnage minifigure and it does come with the Ghost Rider. And I kind of bought that set hoping that there would be a demand for the Carnage a minifigure because of the, the Venom movies. I don't actually know how that one's doing at the moment, but when I checked a few months ago, it wasn't performing too well. It did retire last year. And then lastly, oh, we've got Ben over here. We've got the set number 76163. I've only got one of these left. It's the Venom Crawler. Now, this one, actually, I think it retailed at 34 99 I can't exactly remember. Now, the original Venom sets that came out, or the original Spider-Man sets featuring Venom, have all done really well. I did have a few of them. This is the last one of this particular set, um, but I do like it. It does come with the Iron Venom, which is interesting. I will just show you because my... Um, there we go. So it comes with Spider-Man, Iron Venom and Carnage. I hope I've captured that because my screen preview has disappeared because I've been filming this particular segment for a long time. Um, now... That Iron Venom is interesting because I've got a, a couple of these. I've actually got a few more of these, but I can't find exactly where they are. And these are pretty cool. They're blister packs. They retail, is it £13.49 in the UK? And it comes with these four minifigures, which I think a few of them are ex exclusive. At least the Venom Pig is. But it also comes with the Iron Man Venom again. Now, I actually thought this was the only Iron Man Venom there was available until I looked back up that Venom Crawler set and looked like it actually did come in there as well. But um, this is all I currently own, obviously, for Marvel. Now, any other sets that I consider buying this year will just be more Carnages and the um, Gargantos, I think. Um, but let me know what your picks are. Okay, so up next, let's take a look at LEGO Minions. As you can see, I have two sets from the Minions range. The first one being this one right here, set number seven, treble five, one, the brick-built Minions and their lair. Now, if you watch my channel regularly, you will know that I rate this, this particular set very highly. I have done a few videos out on it previously. Now, this set had a recommended retail in the UK of 44 pounds and 99 pence. However, throughout its most of its lifespan, you could get this set for about 33 uh, across the different Amazon marketplaces. Now, I managed to get 11, um, and unfortunately only 11. Now, this set is pretty much sold out everywhere. You cannot buy it anymore at its recommended retail price. And if you actually check out eBay, it's already hit the heights of about 70, 80 pounds. Now, I did have a suspicion that this set would do quite well, and that is why I did do a few videos documenting my reasonings why. The only thing I didn't count on is that it would sell out this this soon, before the end of the year. I mean, this thing has been sold out for a good a month or two. I think it's been sold out at the end of August or September. So I'm, I'm glad I got my 11, but I did plan to get a lot more. But unfortunately, I, I waited too long thinking they would stay in stock for a bit longer. But happy with, happy with the returns, obviously, because, as I said, I paid about 33 for these. Sorry for that noise. That was just one of the Spaniels. But anyway, so that's, that's the first Minion set. And the next Minion set was this one right here, set number 75549. Now this is the Unstoppable Bike Chase. Now I only got four of these. Now my only reasoning for buying these was that they were the first out of the Minions range to retire. These actually retired, I think last year. And um, sometimes the first set that retires from a wave can do okay. I don't think that's happened this occasion, which is not too much of a, a shame because these retail at seventeen ninety nine, and I actually got these from Hamleys uh, for about twelve pounds each. So um, I'm sure <laughs> I'll, I'll get that back for these. But I say I, I need to. I only bought four to take a chance because they were the first one retiring from the wave. But there you go, so that's the, the menu sets. 
Okay, so up next, let's move on to Ninjago. And as you can see here, I only own one Ninjago set, and I own a good quantity of that Ninjago set. The set in question is the Fire Dragon Attack, set number 71753. Now, out of all the Ninjago sets retiring this year, this one in particular caught my eye. Basically, because it's the, I love the £44.99 price point. I love sets that are priced at that price point because you can often always get them at least a third off down to 30 And I actually paid a little less than these. My average buying price for these Fire Dragon attacks is about £26. Now, I got them from different places on Amazon Germany and a few, quite a few at WH Smiths as well, loading up on different kinds of discount. Now, this one is now sold out pretty much. I think the only place you can still buy is at WH Smiths, which is the last place in the UK at least. Uh, now, on, on eBay, this one is already selling above its uh, RRP, so that's good. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, um, but ultimately, the, the thing that drew me to it, because obviously Ninjago do lots and lots of dragons, so... The whole appeal of just have, just being a dragon is not really enough. As I said, it is the price point. Plus that it is part of this anniversary line that comes with a golden minifigure. How that will influence the value of the, the anniversary Ninjago sets overall is obviously still an open question because they haven't yet retired. But ultimately, my reason for buying this one was the price point. Okay, so moving on to Minecraft. I've only got one set in my Minecraft inventory, and that is this one right here. And I think Lego did me dirty with this one. <laughs> it's uh, it's Lego 21176, The Jungle Abomination. Now, I did actually buy this set last autumn, as in the end of 2021, and I only bought it because it quickly went to sold out on Lego Shop Home's website in the UK, where it has remained sold out ever since. But and the thing is... That made this set potentially quite exciting because it had only been released, I think, last summer. So it had only been out for five months. It was already sold out. I thought, oh, good opportunity. Short shelf life. It could do okay. However, it's now been readily available everywhere else except from Lego this whole entire year, 2022. So, yeah, not. I feel like that was quite a misdirection there from Lego. So well played to them. Um, at the end of the day, this one retails at $34.99 and I paid, I got a third off, I paid $23.33. So we'll see what it does next year because obviously it's still available to buy everywhere. Okay, so up next we've got Speed Champions. Now as you can see, I don't really own that many Speed Champions sets. This is totally different to what I used to invest in because it used to be a real go-to theme and they used to really perform really well. But I think because of the historical positive performance, they're kind of now go-to theme to lots of new investors and the overhauling has generally stopped uh, the level of performance I expect from my LEGO set. So it tends not to be a LEGO theme I go too deep on these days. But nevertheless, as I say, I do have a few, so I'll just talk you through them. Now this is LEGO 76900. I'm not going to try and pronounce the car. But obviously these aren't actually retiring this year anymore. I think they were, but then they got pushed back. I've only got two of them. Then we've got the Elva 76902. Now I've only got two of these. I think these are still retiring this year. I think it is the only one that's going, but it's not a really well-received car. I don't. I think the design is quite poor. Well, that's the general consensus from most Speed Champion fans anyway. And then we've got this one. I think this is a slightly older one. 75891, the Chevrolet. Now this one, I believe, was a twelve ninety nine retail, whereas all the others are seventeen ninety nine, and um, I, I think this one retired two years ago. I'm not sure its current performance, but I got four of those. And then we have the seven six eight nine six, the Nissan GTR. Now again, I think this one retired last year. I've got two of them, and then we've got seven six nine zero one. The GT Supra, I think that says, and I've just got one of those. Now, the price I paid for these, the bigger ones or the bigger box ones, have a retail of seventeen ninety nine, and I paid about twelve to thirteen each. And I think I picked these Camaros up from Sainsbury's, if I recall. I think they were about seven or eight eight quid back in the day. Um, it'd be interesting to see how Speed Champions go in the future, because obviously they bumped the price up to nineteen ninety nine now, I believe. 